special treat for you tonight as we celebrate with some of our young men, as they celebrate and we honor them with the highest achievement in Cub Scouts. We have the honor of presenting Cub Scouting's highest award, the Arrow of Light, to 11 members of our pack. Before we present these awards, however, I would like to relate an appropriate story for us. Many years ago, in the dry southern southwestern plain, there was an Indian village, behind which a tall mountain towered above the desert. It was considered a great feat to climb this mountain. So all the braves of the village were eager to attempt it. One day, Chief Akela called the braves of the village together. Chief Akela anxiously waited for the Braves to come. <laughs> he watched them as they came down from the camp, slowly, methodically. You could almost say they were meditating, learning the ways of the tortoise. As Chief Akela called the braves of the village together, he told them, now my braves, you may all go today and try to climb the mountain. Start right after breakfast and go as far as you can. When you are tired and can go no further, come back. But each of you must bring me a twig from the place where you turn. And so away they all went, full of hope, each feeling certain that he would reach the top of the mountain. Soon, the first brave returned. He stood before the chief, and in his hand, he held a piece of sagebrush. Chief Akela smiled, and he said, My son, you barely got started. You did not reach the mountain. 
You do not even cross the desert. The first brave is like a tiger cub who has earned, who's learned to search, discover, and share, but has not yet begun his climb up the Cub Scout mountain. The tiger cub arrow points him in the right direction. The tiger cub candle lights his way. He also represents the bobcat. This brave is like a Cub Scout who has earned his bobcat badge. He has found the correct path by learning the Cub Scout promise and the law of the pack, but has not yet started to climb Cub Scout Mountain. The bobcat arrow also points him in the right direction, and the bobcat candle lights his way. After another hour, the next brave came back. He held within his hands a spray of cottonwood. Good, said the chief. You got as far as the springs. This brave represents the Cub Scout who has earned the wolf badge. He has progressed a short way up the Cub Scout mountain. The wolf arrow points him in the right direction and the wolf candle lights his way. A longer wait and another brave came back with cedar. The chief smiled when he saw it and spoke. Well done, my boy, you went halfway up. This brave is like the Cub Scout who has progressed halfway up the advancement trail and has earned his bear badge. The bear arrow points him in the right direction and the bear candle lights his way. Later in the afternoon, the next brave returned carrying a branch of pine. To him, the chief said, good. You have traveled to the third level. You made three quarters of the climb. Keep trying, and next year you undoubtedly will reach the top. A Cub Scout who has earned his Weeblos badge has reached the three-quarter mark up the Cub Scout mountain and is in sight of the top. The Weeblos arrow points him in the right direction. The Weeblos candle lights his way. The sun was low when the last brave returned. He approached the chief and held up his hand. It was empty, but he was radiant as he spoke. My father, there were no trees where I went. I saw no twigs, no living thing upon the peak. But far and away, I saw other mountain peaks, and beyond them, the shining sea. Now the old chief's face glowed as he said, I knew it. I knew it when I looked upon your face. You have reached the top. It is written in your eyes and rings in your voice. My son, you need no twigs for token. You have seen the glory of the mountain. The brave who has reached the top is like the Cub Scouts we are honoring tonight. They have reached the highest point in Cub Scouting, the Arrow of Light Award. The Arrow of Light arrow points them in the right direction and the Arrow of Light candle lights their way.
at this time. At this time, I'd like our Weeblo Scouts who have fulfilled, I'm going to call you one by one, those who have fulfilled all the requirements necessary for the Arrow of Light Award to come when I call your name. Your Weeblo's leader will present you with your Arrow of Light badge and a special recognition arrow uh, with symbolic color code which shows your accomplishments in Cub Scout. So at this time, we have our then leader Jessica Huff who will be presenting with our Weeblos as they come to receive their Arrow of Light Award. And I would like, when those young men come, I would like for their families to come with them as well, please. For the first Weeblo to come and receive their Arrow of Light Award, may I please have John Huff. In his time as a Cub Scout, John has earned the Bobcat badge, the Tiger, the Wolf badge, a gold arrow, nine silver arrows, the Bear badge, which is with a gold arrow, 12 sil silver arrows, the Weeblos badge, the Weeblos Super Achiever, uh, pro uh, awards in academics and sports programs, the Cub Scout Outdoor Activity Award for four years, Leave No Trace Award, the Cub Scout World Conservation Award, the Weeblos Supernova Award, and tonight, the Arrow of Light Award. Give John a big hand. Next, may I please have Brendan Mayer. Brendan and his family will join us. During his time in Cub Scouts, Brendan has earned the, Cubs, the Bobcat badge, the Tiger badge, Wolf badge, with a gold arrow and three silver arrows, the Bear badge with a gold arrow and eight silver arrows, the Weeblos badge, the Weeblos Super Achiever Award, awards in academics and sports, the Cub Scout Outdoor Activity Award for four years, Leave No Trace, the Cub Scout World Conservation Award, and tonight, the Arrow of Light Award. Congratulations, Brendan. <laughs> Next, may I have Reed Youngerman and his family. During Reed's time in Cub Scouts, he has earned the Bobcat badge, the Tiger and Wolf badge with a gold arrow and silver arrows, the Bear badge with a gold arrow and eight silver arrows, the Weeblos badge, the Weeblos Super Achiever, the award in academics and sports, the Cub Scout Outdoor Activity Award, four-year award, Leave No Trace Award, the Cub Scout World Conservation, and tonight, the Arrow of Light Award. Congratulations, Reed. I call now Aiden Maxiden to come with his family. As we honor Aiden tonight, he has earned the Bobcat badge, the Tiger badge, the Wolf badge with a gold arrow and six silver arrows, the Bear badge with a gold arrow and eight silver arrows, the Weeblos badge, the Weeblos Super Achiever, awards in academics and sports, the Cub Scout Outdoor Activity Award, four years, Leave No Trace Award, the Cub Scout World Conservation, and tonight, the Arrow of Light Award. Congratulations, Aiden. Next, may I call Jaden Presley and his family. As Jaden comes, Jaden has earned in his time in the Cub Scouts the Bobcat badge, the Tiger and Wolf badge with a gold arrow and silver arrows, the Bear badge with a gold arrow and seven silver arrows, the Weeblos badge, the Weeblos Super Achiever, awards in academics and sports, the Cub Scout Outdoor Activity Award, four years, the Leave No Trace, and Cub Scout World Conservation, and tonight, the Arrow of Light Award. Congratulations, ladies. <laughs> Next, may I call Harrison Way and his family. In Harrison's time as a Cub Scout, he has earned the Bobcat badge and the Tiger badge, the Wolf badge with gold arrow and silver arrows, 
the Bear Badge with a gold arrow and 10 silver arrows, the Weeblos Badge, awards in academics and sports, the Cub Scout, Cub Scout Outdoor Activity Award three years, the Leave No Trace, the Cub Scout World Conservation Award, and tonight, the Arrow of Light Award. Congratulations, Harris. Next, may I have Nicholas Bishop and his family. In Nicholas's time in Cub Scouts, he has earned the Bobcat Badge and the Wolf Badge, a Gold Arrow with Silver Arrows, the Bear Badge with Gold Arrow and eight Silver Arrows, the Weeblows Badge, awards in academics and sports, the Cub Scout Outdoor Activity Award for three years, the Leave No Trace Award, the Cub Scout World Conservation Award, and tonight, the Arrow of Light Award. Congratulations. Next, let me have Joshua Turner and his family, please. As Joshua joins us at the front, in Joshua's time in Cub Scout, he has earned the Bobcat Badge, the Wolf Badge, the Bear Badge with Gold Arrow and eight Silver Arrows, the Weeblos Badge, awards in academics and sports, the Cub Scout Outdoor Activity Award for two years, the Leave No Trace Award, the Cub Scout World Conservation Award, and tonight, the Arrow of Light Award. Congratulations. <laughs> Next, we honor Amon Jackson. Amon and his family will join us. In Amon's time in Cub Scouts, he has earned the Bobcat Badge, the Bear Badge with a gold arrow and seven silver arrows, the Weeblos Badge, the Weeblos Super Achiever, awards in academics and sports program, the Cub Scout Outdoor Activity Award for two years, the Leave No Trace Award, the Cub Scout World Conservation Award, and tonight, the Arrow of Light Award. Congratulations, Amon. <laughs> Next, let me have Cameron Graham, please, and his family. During Cameron's time in Cub Scouts, he has earned the Bobcat Badge, the Wolf Badge with a gold arrow and two silver arrows, the Bear Badge with a gold arrow and two silver arrows, the Weeblos Badge, the Religious Emblem of Faith, the Leave No Trace Award, and tonight, the Arrow of Light Award. Congratulations. Next, we have Caleb Graham, who is already with us and with his family. In Caleb's time as a Cub Scout, he has earned the Bobcat Badge, the Wolf Badge with a gold arrow and two silver arrows, the Bear Badge with a gold arrow and two silver arrows, the Weeblos Badge, the Religious Emblem of Faith, and the Leave No Trace Award. And tonight, his Arrow of Light Award. Congratulations, Caleb. I'd like for us to recognize our Weeblos 2 leader who has been with the, these young men and worked with their families for so long, Miss Jessica Huff. Let's give her a, a big round of applause. And also I'd like for us to recognize these boys' families. Cub Scouting is a family event. And they would not be up here tonight had it not been for you bringing them each Monday night or Tuesday nights, whenever they met earlier, and, uh, and sitting there through those meetings and wondering, why am I here? <laughs> but we appreciate you so much and know that you have instilled within these young men traits that will make our country and make our world a better place to live. Gentlemen, I'm excited about the things you will do in Troop 32. This Saturday, they will actually do their crossover ceremony, which is where they will officially become Boy Scouts and leave us as Cub Scouts. <laughs> Gentlemen, we are thankful to you. Go ahead and have a seat with your families. Appreciate it.
I just want to say that I really appreciate all the hard work that the boys have done over the last, well, I've got five that are tigers. They started out as tigers. I wasn't their leader that year, but I came in as a wolf leader. And we picked up three more that year, another one during Bayer, and then we picked up two more during Regalay. Um, they worked really, really hard. Your scouts can do the same thing. Um, we're not gone. We're just moving on. So if you ever need any help, contact my boys. They're ready to help you, okay? Thank you so much for coming and being here with all of us. Before we leave, let's make sure to recognize the order of the arrow tonight that helped us. All these uh, young men, they're leading, and they help us with our fire tonight and with our story. Maybe it's a very special night tonight. I have a few announcements for us before we are dismissed tonight. Remember, Tuberi is this weekend, and if you thought this was pretty cool, wait till you see the crossover ceremony. That'll be pretty cool as well. I uh, need to make sure that you are ready for that. If you need more information, you can go to the fellowship hall. If you have not paid for Tuberi, you haven't turned in the health form, you need to see Miss Cheryl tonight in the fellowship hall before you leave. If you are rechartering, in other words, you were a tiger last year, you've been in Cub Scouts, and you are you have not paid your recharter fee, you need to do that ASAP. You also need to see Miss Cheryl tonight in the uh, fellowship hall. Also, for the for this weekend, I need some volunteers to take the water canisters home with them and fill them up and then bring them with you on Saturday. We, we can't have 800 pounds of water on the trailer and anybody haul it anywhere. <laughs> so, if you're going to Cubbery this weekend, you'd be willing to take one of these canisters of water because we have to take so much of it with us. Please come and see me. I'll make sure you get one of those. You fill those up. You'll just bring them with you on Saturday, and then we'll collect all those there at the trailer when we get there. Remember, Cubbery is this weekend, and we'll be there Saturday morning. I think between 8 and 9.30 is when you come and check in, and you'll find us. You'll get your tent set up. And then we'll start with today's activities after that. Appreciate everybody being here tonight, sharing this special time with our Cub Scouts as they have received the Arrows Light Award. Y'all right, just stay here for one minute. Bruce, come take a picture of everybody. I already did when oh, there was light. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good, good. Pick it. And we've got cake and we have water. So I stay up for a So y'all stop by and get a piece of cake and celebrate with us. You're dismissed. Y'all make sure to be careful around the fire, please.